In this event, our two contenders will climb side by side using special hand grips in an attempt to reach our 32-foot summit. There's a 60-second time limit, and the man who makes it to the top first earns 10 points. Rico will be chased up by Nitro. You can see all that magnesium carbonate on his hands to give him a good grip, while John Adams will be chased by Gemini. Ready? Keep in mind, our contenders have a 10-second head start over the Gladiators. Rico in the red, John in the blue. Now, it's perfectly OK for the Gladiators to fall off. They're allowed to go back up again. Nitro, well aware of the fact that Rico's a good climber, took a gamble to try to catch early, as you see both of our contenders reaching the top of the wall almost exactly at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, a first here on the American Gladiators. This climb up the wall between John Adams and Rico Constantino, so close, they finished in a dead heat. For the first time ever, both contenders get 10 points. Reese, Reese. Oh, man, it was a rough climb. I knew, uh, I knew Rico was tough, and I just had to just barrel it and go, go all out. You know, most contenders, when they go up the wall, they try not to worry about the gladiator, and they never look at who they're going against. I saw Rico look at you, John. Did you look at him? Uh, actually, no, I gave Rico a lot of credit. I knew he was going to be there. I didn't even have to look over and confirm it. I knew he'd be there on right, right there. You have gotten progressively better in this event. What's the reason? With the wall, you really do have, you have to attack it. The more time you waste on it, the, uh, the more your forearms and hands get a little burnt, burnt out. Well, John, normally your trademark is consistency, but you were spectacular up that wall. Congratulations. 10 points and 10 points for you, my man. Yeah, um, that's a, it was really a dead even race. He said he knew you would be there, so he didn't watch you climb up the wall, but you watched him, I saw that. For me, it was a, I was uh, behind. I, I knew it, and I had to make a last grab. It was either 10 or nothing. You know, if I'd have missed, I'd have fell. You know, so it was that all or nothing type burst I had to do. Well, gentlemen, you look like a pair of Sherpa guides up Mount Everest. Congratulations. Great, great climb. John Adams and Rico. Both our Sherpas come away with 10 points, with Rico leading John 21-12. Meanwhile, Maria holds a five-point margin over Trish, as Maria will be followed up the wall by Gold, and Trish will be hearing Diamond's footsteps on the wall behind her. Ready? Once again, our two contenders given a 10 second head start. Look at Diamond close the gap on Trish. Making short work of that 10 second differential. Remember, she fell too. She's right on Trish's heels has a hole of her ankle, and that's it for Trish Tillotson. Out by a sock. As we see Maria pulling herself up on top of the wall, and there's a happy gal. She's a cake. Maria, easy for you to say, piece of cake. It wasn't that easy. No, it was far from being easy, but for some reason this time, I. I felt like Spider Woman, you know. I just, I figured I had to make it to the top no matter what. And I didn't even think about gold behind me. I just thought about getting that next grip and pulling myself over. Once I saw the top, I was like, home free. If you don't think Maria is excited, look at her hands, folks. They're still shaking. Congratulations, 10 points.